Well, it's not the first place you would expect to see an airplane, but in the wee hours today, one of Canada's iconic snowbirds made an unusual road trip in the Comox Valley. It ended at a new visitor center that officially opens tomorrow, where the plane will be on display year-round. More now from Dean Stoltz, who was there when the move began very early this morning. It's an unusual sight in the dark of night, a CT-114 Tudor. A jet once used by the snowbirds and the same type they use today makes its way on the back of a truck down a country road. And with a police escort, it then turns onto the Inland Island Highway, just a few kilometers now to its final high-profile destination, Comox Valley's new visitor center, where it arrives without a scratch. We made the trip in half the time, and no marks and no problems, and it went great. It's great to have it here, let's say that. Yeah. And by daylight, a crew of volunteers is here making final preparations to hoist the plane onto its new 14-foot pedestal. It'll be the centerpiece here at the new Comox Valley Visitor Center, where already it's stopping traffic. We just driving by and saw this up on the crane. It sure caught my attention. Very good. Hit the brakes and... <laughs> That's what they want. In. Yeah. They gave us an inside tip that it would be... Uh, we'll be putting the snowbird on a pedestal this morning, so... Elijah here has been missing school this morning to uh, watch the watch the erection of the plane. Pretty exciting for both of you. It's pretty exciting. It came from the Comox Air Force Outdoor Museum at 19 Wing Comox. It's been restored, repainted, shined up, and is now ready to start welcoming visitors at the center's grand opening tomorrow. We've had the uh, snowbirds over the quite a few years come to the valley for training and now to see one of their planes up there this is fantastic. Everybody recognizes the snowbirds it's a, a Canadian thing and uh, you know the planes go by and oh we know who they are right away so that's why we've got a snowbird. And there they are in the skies over the valley practicing today. Now the 3.8 million dollar visitor center boasts everything the valley has to offer. What a great uh, boon for the Comox Valley. Everyone has just been really impressed. Um, it's really a destination center and there's so many things that kind of draw people in off the road, the rest stop, um, the plane, <laughs> the electric car charger. It, I mean, add this into the mix, it's gonna be fantastic. The visitor center is at the Cumberland Interchange on Highway 19. Opening ceremonies run all day Saturday.